Hello and welcome to Mad Skiing's video tutorial on how to properly exit and save your settings so that every time you log back in you will have the exact same settings that you uh, you wanted to achieve. So first of all let's log into Mad Skin for the very first time. Okay, put your username and password and logs in and what you'll see is you'll have um, the main Mad Skin window and you also get a signal. Now it's typically it's set up for new highs, new lows. Um, we're just going to go in here and change this to pre-market, post-market. Let's see here, pre-post. So we're going to hit apply. Okay, so we've got one scan set up here. And say so we want to go ahead and we're going to set up a new, um, a new list scan. Okay, so we got this open now. And we're going to go ahead, we're going to open up a news okay that's good so we've got our so we've got a few different things going on here we've got our news scan uh, we got our news we've got our, our filter list and we also have a signal scan going on here now there's a couple different ways we can save this entire layout um, we can go ahead and you can either individually uh, go ahead and save a signal scan file you could do this right through here, save a scan file, so that next time you open up, uh, you can always go back in and uh, utilize this file by um, by just reloading it. Let's we'll say we're going to save, uh, call it a save underscore scan, and it saves it as a SMDS file. We we'll go ahead and we save that. You see it's saved. So now if I wanted to go ahead and open up a new signal scan, I could actually reload this just like this. Open scan file, desktop, saved, oops, save scan, and there we go. It's the exact same one from this one here. We just reloaded it. So for sakes, we'll just leave it everything open right now. Um, so you see we have two signal scans going. We have our news going and we have a filter that we haven't put any uh, values in right now so there's no val nothing happening. The other thing to do is you can actually go ahead and save the entire layout. See exactly the way this is but this is the proper way to do that. Alright, a um, couple things. You can always have a backup. So save layout as a file is not a bad thing to do so it's going to be a LMDS file. So save underscore settings, uh, settings file so this actually will save the entire settings. So we'll go ahead and save that. All right, it saved that file. Now, the proper way to exit out, um, I'm going to show you first of all the improper way if you want to keep this, this layout. Close this, close this, close this, close this, and then you go ahead and you go close and you say save settings. You think you've saved all that information? You did not. You actually exit out. You're saving this exact same blank thing. So I'll show you. So we go in here. We go save settings. Yes. Exits out. Let's go back into it. Logs back in. And we'll go, what we're going to end up doing is the exact same we logged in before. We're going to have one screen. That's it. Nothing. So let's go ahead and reload that file that we made. Um, simple as this. Uh, we're going to go ahead and open a layout file. The, this is the layout file that we did save for this uh, tutorial. Now you see everything opens back up exactly the way I say it, said it before. You see these are both cl kind of cloned, but just for uh, demonstration, you can start seeing the signals are coming in. The proper way to exit is simple as this. Um, file. Do not close any of these windows. Leave them open. Close save settings say yes MadScan will do the work for you it will close out the other signal windows and you'll go to see next time we log back in it actually leaves the windows in the exact same location as well that you've left them so here we go back in you can see everything comes back in exactly the same way that's the proper way to actually save a MadScan backup file and also how to save uh, your configuration in MadScan itself. Thank you for viewing our video tutorial and please go to MadScan.com for additional uh, help videos and 